Warm greetings to everyone. I am Hari Prasanna, working as a SAN admin in Capgemini Technologies Private Limited, Bengaluru for the past one year. I am very delighted to connect to you all on this occasion of ECE Department Day. A warm welcome to all the third sem friends to the world of electronics and communication engineering. I got graduated in the year of 2016. I and my friends took active participation in various state level and national level competitions. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the lecturers, staff of EC department, HOD, principal and the management of BITM college for supporting us throughout our journey in all aspects. One small suggestion I would like to give is be confident on what you know and learn how to express yourself in a smarter way and also apply the learning into action. All the best everyone. Think out of the box and rock the world. Thank you. Hi everyone. Greetings for the day. I am Reddy Sridhar. From past two and a half years, I am employed at Robert Bosch Engineering and Business Solutions at Bangalore. Earlier, I worked as a senior engineer at HCL Technologies Limited for around three and a half years. So overall, I have around six years of professional experience in the automotive industry. I completed my graduation in electronics and communication from BITM Ballari in the year 2011 and there was an immediate recruitment was happened to HCL Technologies. Currently, I am designated as project manager for the integration team which has the team size of around 18 associates and we are working on the next generation automobiles that is driverless cars and trucks. We are working for the clients who are the market leaders in the automobile industry across the world mainly for the European, American, Japanese, Chinese regions. As a part of it, I got an opportunity to travel to Germany and I was there around half a year. Apart from driver assistance, we do have other departments in the software, working on various components like airbags, body control module, communications in the car, networking, denox controlling, etc. And etc. Also, we have the manufacturing units in the Bangalore. I want to give a short advice to young and energetic engineers sitting over there. First, define your goals. Whatever it might be and any field it might be. Don't deviate under any circumstances. Have priorities. Be passionate about your work. Be first to take challenges. Develop never give up attitude. I am looking forward to collaborate with you soon. And I want to thank Team BITM for giving me this opportunity. Thank you one and all. Namaskaram. I am Pradeep working as a Principal Technical Account Manager at Austria. And I am proud BITM alumni. Uh, I, I completed my engineering in 2002 in ECE branch. Uh, so I have been working in the core domain that is related to electronics uh, from last 15 plus years. And uh, you know, like very happy to work in the semiconductor domain or a wheeler solid domain, uh, you know, in the past 15 years plus. And I heard um, uh, there is um, a hesitation to offer uh, ECE or uh, EEE, uh, you know, branch, uh, and uh, for various reasons like, you know, not scorable, not uh, enough opportunity of the job, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a very tough, uh, or, uh, you know, not a cup of, uh, not my cup of tea kind of uh, thing, actually. So, uh, let me tell you, if you have such thoughts, um, then I'm a classic example. I was an average student in uh, till you know my PUC second year or the plus two or a 12th standard okay so and uh, you know thanks to my lecturers and uh, professors at uh, BITM uh, when I took um, EC branch because I always wanted to do it in EC but you know like even I heard the same stories actually why did you take EC you could have gone with um, IT or a Mac branch actually kind of thing but uh, somewhere somewhere down the line I know like I, I will excel in ECE and uh, again thanks to their teachings uh, um, I was uh, a topper for the ECE branch uh, and um, and then you know like uh, the journey has been very good actually so far because I am connected to my core uh, domain actually right means whatever I studied I am I'm working on it actually there is nothing different so it's it's not like working or a stress basically because you know the things you have studied it actually it's, it becomes easy okay so I I would recommend definitely uh, you know for parents and students so please consider it and then there are a lot of opportunities in the electronics industry you know like um, there is a semiconductor industry vlsi embedded manufacturing assembly and uh, you know many other um, uh, options and uh, you know you might have seen the news uh, 
regularly, right? Semiconductor industry is booming, and the government of India has set up a separate electronics corridor and a semiconductor corridor, and uh, you know, like putting lot of um, money actually or budget into the semiconductor or the electronics industry. So, having said that, you know, I would strongly recommend to consider electronics as um, you know your um, uh, specialization of engineering. Okay, and uh, so definitely you'll have a lot of opportunities basically. So by saying that, you know, um, you know, I complete my talk and then wishing you uh, all the best. Friends, I'm uh, Anjum Ara. I'm from BIPM AC branch. Currently working in Infosys since two years. Um, I'm here to share my experience and the journey of mine from BIPM to Infosys. I have completed two years in Infosys, Pune, Maharashtra. First of all, I would like to uh, congratulate you people uh, for completing your uh, successful seven semesters in engineering and uh, reaching the last semester and the turning point actually for your career. And um, yes, um, you people may be uh, afraid of uh, aptitude exams. Uh, you may feel uh, it is difficult to crack. Yes, it is a bit difficult, but I do uh, felt that it is a difficult. But um, there are three key sources uh, that may help you in success and uh, to crack the aptitude question. Um, those are uh, the dedication, focus and your hard work. It really matters. Um, I too felt uh, difficult uh, while uh, cracking the aptitude examinations for those uh, companies. But uh, I practice day and night. and. Uh, yes, hard work really works and I'm here now. Uh, I wish you all people um, to uh, be successful in your career. Please work hard uh, and um, I hope I see you people joining me here in Infosys. And uh, all the very best, my wishes to you people. And um, make proud to your parents. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, I am Sindhu, the past student of the ITM ECA department and currently I am doing my masters uh, here at University of Houston, Clear Lake, Texas, USA. Uh, today I am very honored to get this opportunity to share my journey from BITM to UHCL. Coming to BITM, it reminds me the excellent uh, uh, the lecturers and the resources uh, the lecturers were not just uh, supporting you all in the studies and all, they were uh, helping us with way a lot of many things uh, uh, to learn new topics or something which were not in the syllabus or something to try new projects and all. Um, and they even supported us to take part in a lot of extracurricular activities and all. And the campus training which we get here at BITM is the best thing because when compared to the GRE and GMAT uh, trainings from the so-called uh, good institutes in the Bangalore or Hyderabad or something, the training which we get here was very helpful for me personally to, uh, to, to write in the camp, uh, to get placed in the campus interviews or uh, which was even helpful for me to crack my GRE exams and all. And coming to my journey, uh, when I did join my engineering first year, my parents gave me three tasks to be done at the end of the engineering. They asked me to get good grades, the first one. The second one was to get placed in a good company at the end of the term, engineering. And the third thing was to get uh, uh, right to uh, my GRE, IELTS exams in the third year ending and all, and uh, get uh, admission way before I complete my engineering and all. Um, these were the three tasks and I still remember one uh, uh, one, uh, my, one of my aunt she said me that you should not be an option to someone else but instead you should have options in your life that is like uh, uh, you should not go for the companies because uh, the companies have lot 10,000 or more than the students they can pick they, they have so many options but instead if you get placed with your excellence in two or three companies get your MBA or MTech or MS admissions way before you complete your engineering then you have the option to pick it up those are those so-called big companies are your options 
that is life so i suggest you all uh, to have lot of options not to be an option for someone else and currently now i am doing my research on computer system architecture and very soon i will be publishing my work uh, regarding the cache and the memory architectures and the branching and all uh, to the nasa and i feel that uh, studies uh, are not just about the grades yes i uh, just not about the grades but even the extra curricular activities are very very important for you all uh, and trust me guys even if you read a novel or even if you uh, participate in a music competition or even if you say that you did some artwork those all are really helpful and the thing is uh, guys please don't mug up your uh, books and all but instead learn EC has a lot of way, lot of uh, research fields and all. I suggest strongly to pick a topic and do lot of projects, not just uh, soldering and all. Learn how to build a circuit and all. Uh, don't get a design boards and uh, learn from the base of the structure. Learn new programming languages and all. And uh, I hope everyone reaches your endeavors. get placed in good companies and all and i wish you all a good luck thank you